What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Cardano Scoop, and my name is Fareed. Now, as a part of today's video, I want to give you guys some recent updates about the development of the Cardano blockchain, as well as MinSwap and their recent Plutus V2 contract adoption, as well as Jed in terms of their roadmap in 2023 goals. And then after that, we're going to talk a little bit about ADA Handle hitting a key number of unique wallets. And then in closing, as a part of today's video, Video, we're going to review AXO and some of their educational content that was just released today. Now, if it's your first time stopping by the channel, I aim to provide you guys in the Cardano community with the latest news, tutorials, and reviews for the top projects building on Cardano. And so if this type of content interests you, please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for myself, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Without taking up any more time, we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into these updates. So the first thing I want to highlight with you guys is going to be the weekly development report released by IOG. So as you guys can see here, this was released on January 13th of 2023. Now, some of the key highlights that we have here include 112 projects already launched on Cardano with an additional 1100 actively building with more than 7.5 million native tokens in the ecosystem and 68,000 total token policies. Now, we also have 5,386 Plutus scripts, of which 537 of them have now adopted the Plutus V2 version. Now, if you guys are not familiar with what the difference between the V1 and the V2 Plutus scripts are, if you guys recall, we recently had the Vassal Heart Fork in which we had some scalability and security upgrades coming into Cardano. So we're now starting to see that essentially kick off and those actually are now being adopted. Now, in terms of total transactions, we have more than 58.7 million of them on Cardano. So really good growth for the ecosystem and the community as a whole. Now, looking at the left hand side, we have some additional key highlights. And so we can see that there's still ongoing work on script capacity increases, as well as the Plutus debugger MVP and Macroni. We also have the first iteration of a toolkit for developing custom sidechains on Cardano. Now, I actually covered this SDK as a part of my latest video. So if you guys are interested in finding out more about what the SDK means for the community and sidechains as a whole for Cardano, then go ahead and check out that video, which I'm going to leave a link to down in the description below. In closing of this particular update, we can see that Project Catalyst is now going to be presenting special voting events. Now, I don't actually know what those particular events are going to be, but as I do, I'll make sure to release additional updates surrounding them. The next thing I want to highlight is going to be the Cardano TVL status or total value locked. So as we can see right now, MinSwap is coming in at number one with a dominance of over 40%. Now, this has been like this for quite a while, and this particular team, I think, is more than deserving of this particular status, and we're actually going to be talking about them in just a minute. Now, the next thing we're going to see here is that Indigo is right behind them, and this was a synthetics protocol, or this is a synthetics protocol that recently launched on Cardano, and if you guys want to find out more about them, I also have a fully dedicated playlist for them that I'll also leave down in the description as well. Now, a lot of their TVL um, essentially came in when they first launched on the mainnet in which we saw the release of IUSD as well as IBTC, which are both synthetic representations of those tokens. We also saw the recent release of IETH, which is a synthetic representation of Ethereum, essentially get released as a part of the new year. And that has now, I believe, over a half of a million USD in terms of TVL. So I assume that as they essentially roll out more and more of the synthetic assets, we are going to see their TVL continue to grow. Now, right behind them, we have the Wing Riders platform, which is a decentralized exchange on Cardano, holding about 7.9% of the current TVL within Cardano. And then right on their heels, we have Sunday Swap, followed by Muesli Swap, which are also DEXs. And then we have Optum Finance with a total of 1.8 million USD in terms of TVL, which equals to about 8.8% of the current share. And then we also have Lending Pond right behind them, 
followed by AADA, ADAX Pro, and Fluid Tokens. Now I'm just realizing that this actual percentage may not necessarily be their market share. So I do apologize about that. It looks like it's the actual change of their TVL status over the course of the last few days. So keep that in mind. This 9.10% is an actual increase. The same thing with this 13%, it's an actual increase as well as this 9% and so forth. Now this was recently released on January 17th. So this is actually pretty fresh data and it gives us a really good idea as to how the ecosystem is is doing as a whole. Now, if I get myself out of the way here, you'll notice that we now have a total TVL status of 71.38 million. Now, this is quite an increase over the course of the last few months in which we've essentially just kind of been in a downtrend. Now, as we begin to see more DeFi apps, as well as more DEXs launched, such as TeddySwap, which I also released a dedicated video for, I would assume that this TVL will begin to increase. So having said that, we're going to jump over into the next portion of this video in which we're going to be talking about some of the influencers in the Cardano space. So if we take a look here, we have the top seven or the top influencers, excuse me, I believe it's the top 10 of them over the course of the last seven days. Coming in at number one, we have none other than Ada Whale. If you guys are not already following Ada Whale on Twitter, um, the whale posts a ton of good content. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, so I'm not going to assume that, but they do educate the community. So this is well deserved. And in terms of total engagements, they're right at about 17,000, followed by Darren coming in at 15.7K in terms of engagements, followed by Dan Gambardello or CCV for short, which also has 14,000 uh, engagements as a part of the last seven days. Now, right behind those top three, we have Lucid, Cardano Daily. Shout out to them. Um, it's actually interesting. They've been providing a ton of good content, which I also use here on this channel. Now, after Cardano Daily, we also have Input Output, Wob.eth, Rick McCracken, Jack Fricks, and Peter. Now, I would recommend that you guys follow all of these personalities within the ecosystem, as again, they are all essentially pushing forward for the adoption of Cardano and releasing a ton of good content. Now that we have that out of the way, what I want to do is quickly jump into updates about MinSwap. Now, MinSwap is going to be the top decks that we just saw in terms of TVL on Cardano right now. And this is actually one of my personal favorite DEXs on Cardano. Now, what I want to highlight here is going to be the fact that they've now adopted Plutus V2 scripts. So they're going to essentially be tapping into all of the updates and upgrades that were released to the community as a part of the Fossil Hard Fork. So it states here on their official Twitter, today we're excited to announce Yield Farming Harvest V2, which allows for multiple token harvests with a single click. You can now choose to migrate in just a few clicks to the new Harvest V2 contracts and enable it. So keep in mind that if you don't already have this feature enabled right now, it's not going to kick in for any of the LP farms that you're essentially providing liquidity to. But if you begin to provide liquidity um, for any of their pools, this feature will kick in. And so there is a minor manual step to essentially upgrade or to migrate to the v2 scripts if you don't already um, have that in place or if you have not already provided liquidity to their decks scrolling down a little bit further any lp staked after today will be staked into the harvest v2 platform so this is exactly what i was trying to mention um, anything moving forward will be covered as a part of the script update but if you do not already have that process you will have to manually go in and migrate Scrolling down even further, this marks the first time the MinSwap DEX leverages the improvements from Plutus V2. Again, congratulations to this team. Um, as I mentioned before, they do a really good job of listening to the community and also delivering on exactly what the community has been asking for. And they've been around since the very early days of Cardano. Now, in terms of the addition to the Harvest V2 scripts, we can see that there's also going to be some updates relating to collateral. So you no longer need to manually set collateral in your wallet. Guys, this is huge. And as we begin to see more of these projects essentially adopt the V2 scripts, um, this is going to be a norm within Cardano. If you guys don't understand the collateral process, essentially you have to have some ADA set aside in case your transaction fails in which your collateral is then going to be used for. Now, as a part of the V2 updates, that's no longer going to be a requirement moving forward. Now, on top of the collateral update, there's also um, the updates in terms of canceling orders, which those fees have now been reduced. Again, essentially keeping more ADA in your pocket. Very lastly, you can now see recent trades on the swap 
page. So they have a fully dedicated page for swap history, which now seems like it's going to be integrated on the actual swap page where you can see the tokens that you plan on purchasing. Now, if I jump over into the actual min swap decks here, as soon as you access the website, you'll actually be presented with this latest updates here. And as you guys can see, again, just quickly recapping the farm V2 Plutus uh, scripts are now in place. You can now see recent trades from the swap page. The SIP40 updates are also in place regarding the collateral, and they've also updated their trading view charts. And so this was something that I actually personally noticed. They essentially had these very, very in-depth charts, and you can now toggle between the expert chart and the regular um, novice chart. I believe they actually refer to it as the pro chart. Very lastly, we have the recap of the order cancellation, and they have some additional improvements to their UI UX. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be Jed. Now, if you guys don't know about Jed, they're going to be a algorithmic stablecoin platform coming to Cardano, and they actually announced that they will be launching as a part of the last two weeks of January. So we're at the 17th right now. So over the course of the next 13 to 14 days, we should get a brand new stablecoin on Cardano. Now, what I want to highlight here is going to be the fact that Cody, which is the driving arm behind Jed, um, has essentially provided their um, roadmap for 2023. So it says here, this is the plans for Cody's 2023 and beyond. Now, I'm going to release a fully dedicated video for this, but what I want to do is just quickly highlight some key infographics that I found to be extremely useful. So as we can see here, looking at their 2023 roadmap, what we can expect from the Cody team includes the Jed algorithmic stablecoin, which, as I mentioned before, will be coming to Cardano over the course of the next two weeks. We're also going to get the addition of G Cody, and then we're going to see an upgrade to their treasury, which is going to be called their treasury 2.0, as well as Cody pay for businesses. And then they're actually going to release a brand new update or a brand new version of the Cody protocol. Scrolling down just a little bit, there is a video with the, um, I believe, the CEO or the potential founder of Cody, which is Shahaf Barjefin. Again, I'm going to leave the link to this down in the description below. But if you guys want to find out more about what Cody plans on doing and delivering for 2023, then I recommend that you check this out. Scrolling down just a little bit, there's also another infographic about Cody Pay and enterprise growth in 2023. So if I blow this up just a little bit, we're going to get an additional payment gateway, bridges to other networks, branded wallets, CMD branded lo loyalty tokens, as well as CMD branded payment tokens. So really, really good growth and a lot of expectations being set right now for 2023 for the Cody team. Now, if I scroll down to the very bottom here, there's two last things that I want to show you. The first is going to be, I believe, the ecosystem integrating Jed and then their roadmap for the actual Cody token or excuse me, for the actual Jed stablecoin. So as you guys can see, this is quite a lengthy article. Again, this is why I'm going to have a fully dedicated video for this. So if we take a look here, we've got the ecosystem that's going to be adopting Jed. Now, on the top left hand corner, we have decentralized cloud services, which include Iagon, which I also cover here on this channel quite frequently. And then in terms of launch pads, we have A Starter, Carta Shift, and Occam Phi. And then when it comes to DEXs, we can expect the integration of Jed coming to Sunday Swap, Wing Riders, Min Swap, Genius Yield, which is actually going to be launching as a part of Q1 of 2023, Cardax, and ADAX. When it comes to NFT gaming, we're going to see their integration to Cardano Warriors, Revelar, NFTMaker.io Pro, Lovelace, Centurify, and Carta Hub. And then highlighting a few other projects that I actually find to be very notable ones within Cardano include World Mobile, right, which is a telecom platform, as well as Indigo, which I mentioned before, is a synthetic asset platform. And then we're also going to see them integrating into AXO, which is going to be a trading protocol. When it comes to RealFi, we can expect them to integrate into Empower as well as Kirkstone. And then when it comes to DeFi, we'll see them integrating into Jara Network, Vi Finance, and I'm hoping to see on this list the Meld platform. Now, Meld is going to be a lending and borrowing um, system building on Cardano, essentially focusing on the trading of crypto or providing crypto to crypto loans as well as crypto to fiat loans. Now, they are also going to be aiming to launch sometime this year, but they have not yet set their official launch date. 
Now, if we move over into the next update, I'm going to be highlighting some changes or a key metric, excuse me, that was just released by the ADA Handle team. Now, if you don't know about ADA Handle, they're going to be an NFT powered custom wallet solution for Cardano. So essentially what you can do is purchase an ADA Handle. And once you purchase an ADA Handle, you can then keep that in your wallet and any transaction sent to that ADA Handle will automatically be routed to that specific wallet in which the handle exists. Now, this recent announcement was surrounding the fact that the team has now met more than 50,000 unique wallet addresses. Now, I personally hold quite a bit of the ADA handles. And again, I personally believe in their long term future and what they're going to be building on this platform. Now, if you guys don't know about the actual team members of this particular project, I did get to meet Goose as well as Conrad, who are both very active within the Cardano and crypto community. I also did get an interview with them at the recent Rare Bloom event, which took place in Denver, Colorado of Q4 of last year. And if you guys want to find out more about that, then definitely make sure to check out my specific video in which I sit down with Goose, in which we also talk about the future and what they actually have in terms of their vision for the next year. Now, if I jump over into the actual ADA handle website on top of the 50,000 unique wallet addresses, we now also have more than 190,000 custom uh, NFTs already minted. So I remember when this first launched, we were at about 20 to 30,000 and it's just been slowly ticking up and up and up again, really just kind of showing how bullish the entire community is and how widely adopted this particular NFT collection is. And if I'm not mistaken, um, aside from the Hosky um, NFT collection, which has 420,000 of them floating around in the Cardano network, this is, I believe, the second runner up with, again, over 190,000 custom Cardano addresses minted and counting. Now, coming to a close for today's video, what I want to do is break down some educational content that was just released by the AXO trade team. Again, AXO is going to be a top notch tier DEX building on Cardano. Now, they have not actually confirmed the date that they'll be launching on just yet, but it does sound like they are very close. Now, from this project, we've recently seen the Mal the Trader NFT collection recently released. And then on the heels of that, we did get the official mint of the actual AXO token. So if you guys participated as a part of the recent um, ISPO for this particular project, their tokens are ready. Um, now you can't actually claim them just yet, but the minting policy is available for the community and in, in anticipation of the token collection process. Now taking a look at the official AXO Twitter, we can see that it states, AXO can now execute any possible order type. Some are common, but others you may not yet be familiar with. Over the course of the coming weeks, we'll look at the most popular order types and how they'll behave on AXO. Then we'll dive into more specialized orders. So first up is going to be the market order type. So what I'm going to do is just quickly play this 30 second clip for you guys. And again, this is just some educational content coming from AXO, which I'm excited to see, especially being that my particular YouTube channel focuses around education. Now within DeFi, it's always good to make sure that you understand what you're dealing with. And again, videos like this really go to show that this team as well as this protocol is taking education very seriously so without taking up any more time i'm going to blow this up and i'm going to go ahead and mute myself and play this back for you guys a market order takes a set amount of capital and immediately exchanges it for the maximum amount of assets it can get when executed this order type is great for purchasing or selling an asset as quickly as possible. But be careful, you may get a worse price than expected if there is little liquidity. As you guys just saw there, that was a nice and short presentation about how the market order types will work. Now, keep in mind that this is not something that is specific to AXO, but this is just how market orders work in general. And the fact that this team is taking their time and effort to basically put out content, educating the community about how this works again, gives them a lot of brownie points in my books. That is going to wrap it up for today's video in which we've talked about the general development of the Cardano network, as well as the recent adoption of the Plutus V2 scripts by the MinSwap team. Following that, I highlighted the 2023 goals, as well as the roadmap for Jed, as well as the 50,000 unique wallets 
being adopted, or excuse me, 50,000 unique NFTs being adopted by the ADA handle standard, as well as the recent educational content series that we just saw released by the AXO trade team. Again, if you guys found this content to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you found this information to be helpful or insightful, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for myself, then make sure to leave a comment down below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video.